All right, the week, what was that, week nine, the importance of writing. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one, and this comes from uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson. Writing makes you a better critical thinking. Or, sorry, writing makes you a better critical thinker, a clearer communicator, and decision maker. And, uh, and, and I've always wondered why, like, whenever I've been struggling with things, I would journal more. And that would kind of actually help me, like, think things through and, and, and put things together. And one of the points that he brings up is it makes you a better critical thinker because you have an argument and you have to organize really well your thoughts and your supporting evidence to get your point across. And if you can do that really well, it's going to be your, your effective communicator. You're going to be able to make better decisions and, and and so I always liked it. I think the students probably disliked that one the most in Nicaragua, but I also made them do flow charts with the with the signals and all that. And and this is where we talked about mind maps and, and what I like about those, what you were talking about, and then going to a vision board is that it's a it's a it's a visual one because we all learn differently. Um, and so, any thoughts on what we yeah, talked like about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never been a writer. I don't <laughs> like writing, um, but there is an importance to it because I notice when I take notes, mm -hmm. I do become a critical thinker. Um, it's, it's like it slows down. Even when I'm writing sermon notes, everything slows down enough for me to go, okay, this is good, mm -hmm. right? And this is going to stick because I'm actually, it's, it's almost like I'm giving life to this, what I'm writing down, right? Yeah. So, um, it helps me to evaluate what, what's, what's being said. Mm -hmm. And so, especially when I was uh, doing the prison ministry, uh, I had to write 42 letters for 42 oh, minutes. It's 42. about 10 hours of writing, right? That's it a was lot. Like, my hand was like, hurting. Oh. It, it, was, it was horrible <laughs> in that aspect, but it was very joy-giving because mm -hmm. at the same time, I was able to let my heart flow through what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, wanted to make points on about mostly about who they are right who christ sees them how christ views them and mm -hmm. loves them and how they could change for the better um not in so many words i think and the holy spirit was leading all that so it's, i would start off like the what's going on that day or i was doing this this morning mm -hmm. or it wasn't you know specific to um, a standard way of writing these letters, but it just started off whatever was yeah. the Holy Spirit was putting in my heart, and always ended in the Scripture, right? Because as I am pouring this out, I, I know that when they read it, they're going to evaluate it. They're going to see the sincerity, and then I took the time to yeah. write anymore, right? I mean, these that's an important I, point. Like, how how nice is it to get a handwritten letter? Yeah. Like, and I was about this close to going, I'm about to type up the rest of them because uh, of my hand <laughs> schedule. And, you know, and Sarah's yeah. all like, you're seriously going to write the rest of them? I said, I have to. Yeah. Um, and so it, it, it just, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain for me. It's just. I think it's more impactful that you wrote it, hand wrote it. Yeah. Sorry, not typed it, but more impactful to them. Right. Because they're people that don't get a lot of time or attention. Probably, yeah. Right. There's some that probably don't get any which is a very sad thing to think right. about. Um, and one of the things that, that you, you, you just spoke on when you're writing the letters is not really, I don't want to say it's not involved in this, but it wasn't something we specifically talked about. But I think the identity, the lack of identity, is one of the biggest problems now in general, right? People not knowing who they are. And because they don't know who they are with the Father, they're always trying to figure out who they are with okay. other people, the, ver the horizontal way and... And that, that's what created, we talked about this in Chasm, I think Nick talked about it this Tuesday, is that that creates the brokenness. And it's it's sad to see people, like we, I talked about it with a coworker. I was like, I think this person acts like this because of, of these behaviors exhibit this imposter syndrome, doing this and that and that. And this is why this person reacts this way to these things. And he was just like, dang, never thought about it like that. <laughs> and, and it's just identity, like... I still struggle with it. Like I'm way better than I was, you know, a yeah. couple years ago. Right. And, and, and I see, and that was one of the reasons of, of wanting to do this. Cause I want to take this and then go to, to other programs like the whole project. I know we talked about trying to do something together for that. And, 
and go to people who I think have been neglected or have been cast out and be like, no, you, 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 you are still a leader, right? I was like, you're in this kingdom. Like you are still a leader in, in that identity. So not really the importance of writing related, but when you brought up the identity, I, I thought that was really important. For sure. I mean, so. I think, um, what writing does is it's very tangible it's very something that's very tangible to go back to, right? It's not like, oh, I, I heard this sermon, but I can't remember half of what it was said, right? Oh, yeah, I don't and write so, it down. It... Yeah, and then you can go back to it. Um, I'm not going to mention names, but there was somebody who talked about a hard time that was in their life mm -hmm. and uh, to the point of great depression, mm -hmm. and um, they went to their prayer closet and then looked at, their journaling mm -hmm. that they did and and this wasn't like sermon related but it was their personal journal mm -hmm. and it reminded after reading and reading and reading and just reminding themselves as who they are and who they yeah. are in Christ so important and um what they mean to this world because we all have something to offer so um everybody it does it took a while but you know it's 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 one of those things where it doesn't matter how long it takes mm -hmm. as long as that there's something like I said tangible that you you can physically hold and read and go, I, I wrote that. Yeah. So it means something. Right. Right. It means something to me. If it doesn't mean anything else to nobody, that's fine. But it means something to me. And then, like, even with the inmates that we wrote the letters for, I mean, those guys are going to go back and hold on to those things. Because when they're feeling like they don't have hope or they don't have yeah. anything, they can remember, man, there were 25 men who showed up. Mm-hmm. Plus the, I think it was like 15 women who were behind the scenes and um, writing letters as well and, and um, just pouring out their love in that. Um, but in in a business aspect, or I guess in a leadership aspect, I think it helps to remind you of uh, a constant of what's going on, mm -hmm. what needs to be changed, how you can see it. Like you're saying, we're talking about mind maps. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is the clear, you know, we don't just have a motto here. We have right. a, we have an agenda, and how are we going to get to that agenda? Mm -hmm. And when you do the mind map, it's one thing branches off to the next thing, branches off to the next thing, and you can see where the the bigger things start to break out into the to the other important things. I don't yeah. want to say less important because but more not, details, right. more like branches on a tree, right? right? You have the trunk, and then it goes to a branch and branch and branch. Yeah, it's I find that, and for me, from a leadership aspect of it part of a leader is having the vision. So if I don't even know how to explain the vision, how am I going to communicate that to anybody, anybody else on my team that needs to know what the vision is. Right. And so in high school, I hated writing outlines. I'd write my paper, just go off, write the paper and then go back and make my outline off the paper, yeah. which is completely backwards. And it wasn't until college where I was like, man, I need to start writing the outlines first. And, and for me, that, that would just help. And, you know, that was back when you still had to, like, handwrite stuff. But now everybody, yeah. computers and phones, like, it's so much easier to just for me to type it up in Word. And, and what I like about the the free web thing that we use, Coggle, was you can edit things so quickly. I'm going to change. I don't like where that is. I'm going to move that over there. Right. And and so for me, that, that helps. That helps me organize my thoughts. And then if I really understand what it is, then I can pass that vision on to the people on my team and we can execute that vision with tangible steps to complete whatever goals and stuff like that. So any, anything else on the writing? I think that's it, yeah. All right, cool.